Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing? Um, before we get started, I want you to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button so you can be notified of when I upload my next video. So I know um, anyways um so y'all please excuse the glare like i said it's still a learning process for me um with the whole um youtube thing but yeah i want to make this video um it's going to be a short video um but this sh let y'all know where i'm at in my process um in the process of me creating the body butters and the sh um, body scrubs um, so in a, in a little bit, um, soon, a, a few, in a few weeks or so, I will be a part of She Favor. I'm, I will be a vendor at part of She Favor. And for the most part, I will be selling my body butters and my sugar scrubs. So I'm, I'm picking two cents. So I got two male scents that I decided that I want to um, sell, I want to offer. And then I have two women scents that we'll be offering and then one unscented you know what I'm saying for my sensitive skin people um hold on yeah yes okay so but let me show you the epic fail of my body scrub see my testers now you see how hard this is this is not the texture that I was looking for this is not the texture I mean this is actually this is actually an a, a okay texture you know since it's kind of firm sweet sweet and sour I want ketchup there's probably no more ketchup Yeah. No. No. Get you some water for right now. Mompreneur life, right? So this is a cotton candy smell. Actually, this smell is a little better than I thought. No, you cannot have that. Look, smell good. Okay. Okay, go back upstairs. Sorry, y'all. Bye. So, this is not... This texture is actually not that bad. And... Go ahead. Bye. Okay, throw it away. This smell... Oh, so good. But the texture is not... The, I might just keep this for myself. But this is not for y'all. You see this? These were, for me, ep epic fails. But... I love this scent, so I won't be throwing this away. So I will be starting this over. That's the whole thing about when you're doing. Um, that's the whole thing when you're making products, homemade products, um, from scratch, and you're not outsourcing the base, which I think I might be doing. I will consider doing that, like the base for my sugar scrubs, because that gives me less of a headache. But I'm a I'm doing this right now you have to find the right formula the right scent the right this the right that oh this actually came out okay so yeah uh, you have to find the right formula the right scent the consistency that you're looking for so you could produce the best quality products that your business can possibly can because you want people to come back and um, not only just come back you want them come back happily not just by themselves but with friends and family so you want referrals as well so you have to find the best product the best formula that will get you the results that you're looking for and also get you the results that will that your um customers and future customers will like so my hubby rearranged this area for me in this workspace and i got workspace under here but Thank you. 
So I have my oil. I'm getting ready to transfer into this bigger one because I gotta make more oil. So I got, this is my regular oil. And then I have oil just for my sensitive skin, people. Let me tell you, this oil looks so pretty. Like, look, it looks so pretty. So I have to um, strain this out. I have to do my research. I wonder if I can use the same herbs that I use in here again. Most likely, I probably won't. I'll just get some. I have to order and get fresh herbs so I can do another batch of this. So I got two different kinds of oil. One for um, specially made for eczema and um, eczema and sensitive skin, and then I got my other oil that I made for my regular everyday. You know what I'm saying, but yeah. So my my thing is. Be patient with yourself. The only th the only reason why I'm I'm a little stressed right now only because of the conference that's coming up and um, from a meeting that I had with um, the conference leader. Um, it was a meeting with all the vendors. They said it's going to be a lot of people there, so that is kind of stressful, especially for someone that um, is new to the game. Um, it's definitely a learning, um, a learning type situation. I'm learning and I'm learning quick because the conference, well, the conference is in May. Um, but I've learned a lot, but I have to, I have to produce a whole lot. It's like over, they expect over 2000 people. So you want to make enough where, um, you're able to sell those days you don't want to sell out the first day you don't want to make so little that you won't have anything to offer the next couple of days but you don't want to make too much where you have a whole lot so I'm praying that I make enough um, I'm praying that I make enough that I have enough and that's another thing I don't know what was in my head or what I was thinking as far as the oils and stuff like that but these things are expensive um, when I was looking up and I'm thinking like uh, when they say a gallon of oil, a gallon is not enough. <laughs> a gallon is not enough, um, and especially the, for the amount that I need to make. Now, if you just starting off, I do suggest when you starting off, don't go on off, don't go off making hundreds. Get one or two cent that you like, and make about twenty, twenty. And that's 10 of each scent. Just make 20. You can make 10 body butters of that same scent. Sugar scrubs and body oil. And that's it. And make 10 of the other scent the same thing. So basically you have... It's going to be more than 20. Um, so that's, that's 30 for one cent. 30. So 60. So don't go off making a whole lot. Don't go off because one is expensive. Is very expensive. The oils, especially if you use high quality good oils, those oils are expensive. If you're using high quality good products, good butters, good um, fragrance, it's it, it, it's expensive. It's it, uh, it's expensive. Now your jars, you can get your jars from Amazon. That's what I got majority of my jars and my bottles from. Um, what else? A lot. See, I got these from like Walmart. Um, my body butters. Give me one second. You see this? I got this. This is Crafters Choice. This is a five-pound bag of mango butter. Mango butter is kind of it's kind of pricey. Um, I got I got that from um, wholesale wholesale supply plus. Um, and I got other stuff down here. So yeah. Um, a lot of my stuff, I, I my butters and stuff, I got from Wholesale Supply Plus. Um, the ones that I'm going to use. I'm still in the works. I'm trying to find the right scent. I'm trying to find, you know what I'm saying, what I like. So now, today, I will, and I'm not going to film it. So I'm just doing a short video just to let you know where I'm at in my process. But today, I'm going to, I'm, I'm trying out some of the scents that I have. So I could, I, I know one that I'm going to make. This is for the female. I need to pick another scent. So I got like six six scents 
fragrance, I should say, six fragrances that I want to choose from to start it off. Um, it may be three because I got a Chanel fragrance that I might try that out. You know what I'm saying? Do a couple body butters, do a couple body sugars. I mean, yeah, body scrubs and body oils in the Chanel scent. Um, but yeah, I just, I want to find the right one. So I'm praying, y'all pray for me um, and healthy and whole um, as I'm going through this process. When you start any business, don't try to go big. Do your research. Don't try to go big so fast because um, you're, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to miss something. And it, and it won't benefit you or your customers. So do your research. Um, take as much time as you need. I mean, of course, set a deadline for yourself because you want to make sure that, you know what I'm saying, you get up and running. But set a deadline. One, set a deadline for yourself. Two, do your research. Three, actually, number one is pray. <laughs> That's the number one, pray. And then um, set a deadline. Do your research. Set a budget. Set a budget. And remember, um, don't try to do a whole lot of products, especially making handmade products. Now, if you're doing something like an ebook or something like that, you you know, that's easy peasy. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. I mean, I'm not saying it's easy peasy to do an a, a, a ebook, but once you write the ebook, you have that all taken care of and published, you just, it's an ebook. You know what I'm saying? Just um, advertise it. And people, you know what I'm saying? It's not something that you have to make. Um, so, I don't want anybody to give up on their dreams. I don't care if 200 million thousand people are doing what you're doing. Now, I'm going to keep saying it. They don't have you. Do you think Rihanna care if Victoria's Secret been around? If Adore? If Frederick Hollywood? Yeah, I'm going old school. If the panties at Walmart, Hanes, lingerie. There's hundreds of lingerie um, companies out there but Rihanna is a multi-millionaire I think she's about a billionaire um, the shoe companies do you think that shoe companies looking at other shoe companies like oh I don't want to you know what I'm saying I don't want to do it because there's, there's already a shoe company out there Nike's already out there no keep doing it these makeup companies um, look at um, oh my god and I watch her all the time um, the crayon box lady um how can I forget her name? Because I watch her all the time. Her, do you think that um, Maybelline, uh, MAC, all those, Sephora, whatever they call, stopped her from creating her own line? No. You have to go out and do it. You, but you also have to make sure that God is all in the mix and in the sauce for you to last and to help you to keep going when things are rough. Um, so... That is my thing for today, for right now. Um, I just want y'all to keep going. Don't give up. Moms, dads, parents, do not give up. Because the success of your business will definitely benefit. Your children will benefit from it. They may not want to inherit the, um, that, that actual company. But what you're doing is setting up a blueprint. You're making a blueprint. For them to follow and they may want to start their own type of business but they won't start it they won't get it from the mud they have a blueprint to follow so continue push and you will make it through you will get through it best believe you will get through it and and i'm gonna try to post more because the next video that well not the next the video that i'm about to post before this I had already done it like a month ago. I'm just not posting it. Um, so I got to be more consistent with my YouTube videos and stuff like that. Because um, YouTube can be another stream of income for me and my family. So if, if I'm serious about adding another stream of income, I got to be serious about it. And I got to be more consistent. So that's what I'm trying to do. Be more consistent. Sometimes I feel like I ain't got nothing to show. I ain't got nothing to whatever. But I said that the reason why I'm starting this um, this channel is to show my my process and my journey and that's what I'm doing so I'm showing my process and my journey of becoming a multi-million dollar business I'm manifesting it so <laughs> uh, I want y'all to have a good day again don't forget to 